Hey everyone, welcome to Slapsticks Hockey Blog Volume 1. Uh, as many of you know, I'm Brad from ClusonChair.com. Uh, I just thought I'd start doing a couple blogs to express my views and thoughts on the current goings in the hockey world. So without further ado, I'd like to get started on a topic that has been, well, bugging me to say the least. Claude Lemieux. Now this guy is 43 years old and has been out of the NHL since 2003. Whatever put the thought in his head that he can come back to the NHL, even though it's a lot faster and basically more highly skilled than when he was here, is beyond me. And for the most part, I think San Jose runs their organization very well. Clearly, they're winning. But this decision makes absolutely no sense to me. Now, the excuse I've been hearing is they choke in the playoffs constantly, so let's bring in someone who's done well in the playoffs and has tons of playoff experience. Okay, makes sense, but he's 43. Sure, he brings experience to the dressing room, but he's not going to do anything for the betterment of the team on the ice, and all you did is just take a roster spot away from someone who's earned that spot some point during this hockey season. So a young up-and-coming player who's been having a good season is now in the minors because this guy wants to come back for God knows whatever reasons. Um, can't say I like the decision. Can't say I think the decision makes sense, but hey, I'm not getting paid millions of dollars to make these decisions, so I could be wrong. But yeah, touching on the goaltending situations in the NHL right now, um, just heard, found out today, Steve Mason will not be participating in the Young Stars game, and I want to say good. This guy's been having a ridiculous season, easily the front runner for the Calder Trophy and possibly the Vesna Trophy. Now, the reason I think it's good that he's not playing in the Young Stars game, it's three on three, people just screw around, goalies get lit up like a Christmas tree. That's not bound to help anybody's confidence but the players. So, Steve Mason won't lose any confidence, keep playing, no real problems there in my books. I don't know if I'm rambling too much here or what, but relating to goaltending, found out today that Rick DiPietro will be out for the season. In related news, just found out the sky is blue. DiPietro getting hurt is now like a calendar. You can just cross off the times it happens because it is beginning, beginning to get so ridiculous. The guy is made of glass. The Islanders were the first team to venture out and signed a player to a ridiculously long contract and man has that come back to bite them. So I think people might finally see why these Stupid long-term contracts are a bad thing. Is Di Pietro a good goalie? Yeah. In the five games he plays a year. And in more goaltending news, Brian Elliott continues to start for the Senators and is actually showing promise at becoming a solid number one starter for many years in the NHL. I do have a problem with the way they're doing this, though. They're playing him every game. Let's not forget, he is a rookie, and Alex Ald is a capable goalie. Ald's not, never going to be a starter, never will be, don't know why they thought he would be. But what he is, is an excellent, excellent backup goalie. Every team he's ever went to where he's been the backup, he's done well. He's not Sean, has been outstanding, but he's done what they needed him to do. Now what they need him to do in Ottawa is play half the games. Alternate with Elliott, maybe Brady, a uh, hot goalie for two, three games. But either way, the Elliot's young. He's not going to carry the team the rest of the year. They're tanking. If they plan too much, they're going to shoot his confidence, and that'll be his career right there. He could emerge, in my opinion, to be a solid starting goalie in the NHL for years to come if they don't ruin it this year. Speaking of the Ottawa Senators, what the hell is wrong with them? I like to think I know what I'm talking about when it comes to hockey, hence why I'm doing these blogs. But even I can't figure out what's wrong with Ottawa. They've got capable forwards, what appears to be depth up front. Their defense is marginal, but their offense should be more than enough to make up. Their problem this year has been goal scoring, which dumbfounds me. Heatley, Spets, and Alfredson, where, where is, are they this year? 2006-07, they were unstoppable. Now they're very stoppable. I don't get it. Watching them, though, I think I might be onto it. Spezza and Heatley are just plain lazy. You watch them when they don't have the puck, I don't think they lift their feet off the ice. It's just downright embarrassing to watch. Um, 
they gotta get their asses moving, they gotta work, they gotta realize that they're not gonna be carried on skill alone. It's sad to watch, really. So much skill, so much untapped potential going to waste. And another subject that's been bothering me, just came up again in the past couple of days. Peter Forsberg has begun skating again and plans on returning to the NHL. Good God, did we not hear enough about Matt Sundin? Seriously, we gotta go through this again with another player? The NHL needs to institute a friggin' rule that states, pick a certain date, December 1st for example, and say, all right, you have till December 1st to register or get on a roster for an NHL team, or you are not playing unless granted injuries or being in the minors or something along the lines, but you have to be playing hockey or injured to be eligible to play after December 1st. If you just want to sit at home, scratch your ass, decide whether or not you want to play, piss off. I was sick of hearing Sunday about Sunday every day. Oh, he might play. He's coming. Who's he going to sign with? Now he's coming. Oh, he's going to wait a week to go to Vancouver. It, it, I got sick of it. It was bloody ridiculous. If I have to go through this with one more player ever again, I swear to God, I'm going to snap and throw my commu computer across the damn room. Now, another subject I want to talk about, the All-Star game. Does anybody care anymore? Seriously, I just want to know. Answer my question. Reply in the comments below. Does anybody care? The skills competition, fun to watch. Young Stars game, cool. Lots of gold. The All-Star game, hey, let's watch a bunch of guys who have accomplished something in their career. Float around and try some fancy moves and generally not care. Baseball, got it right. They made the All-Star game worth something. Winner gets home field advantage in the playoffs, in the World Series to be specific. I think the NHL, NHL should adopt something like that. Winning conference, cool, you get home ice advantage in the Stanley Cup Finals. Who cares about points, stats, whatever. Make this interesting. This is should be a big marketing goal for the NHL, and yet they have blown it consistently year in and year out. They have to make this entertaining. And lastly, last subject I want to touch on is fighting in the NHL. Because as many of you know, the whole situation where the guy for the Whitby Dunlops died because he hit his head off the ice. Now, I knew everyone was going to overreact, which they did, but it wasn't unfounded in my opinion. People are saying, oh, you need fighting in the game, you need fighting. No, you don't. Fighting is has become a joke. When guys pre-plan fights and they ask before the pucks drop, that is ridiculous. Guys like George Little Rock, Radies even even ends or however the hell you say the name. These guys do not belong in the NHL. You need guys that can play and fight. Jared Bull is a perfect example for Columbus Blue Jackets. He sticks up for his teammates when needed. If there's a cheap shot thrown, something happens, or his team's riled up and they need someone to step in, he's there. But when that doesn't happen, he's off playing the game, you know, contributing. So the whole helmet thing, I don't care. I don't think they should take it off before the fight. That's just ridiculous. But if it happens to fall off in the fight, well, who cares? It's the player's own discretion. They know the risk going involved. I don't really see why this is such a big deal. Just me. Um, please reply in the comments below. Let me know what you think. If I'm off base with anything, if I'm going crazy. And don't forget, as always, check out ClusonChara.com. My name is Slapstick there. And I will catch you next time.